But the three and outs to open the second half, the four straight punts were maybe a, a bigger the bigger issue. What was going on there? Why? How can that be fixed? Yeah, you, know, you know, we started the game going going three and out. We finally got some rhythm. I think if you look back at the drives where we were able to, you know, mentally good out score touchdowns. We had big plays. We had first downs. We got uh, chunk yardage, and we weren't able to do that on the uh, in the first in the second half of the game. Of the second half, and so. Uh, you know, just uh, 11 guys not being on the same page, and that's you know that's what it takes to be successful at this level. No, you don't want the false start to start the second half, but you got one. Uh, uh, is that uh, something that you guys talk about? You talk about? Oh, yeah, I think all penalties. I think uh, you know, obviously, anytime you set yourself back into good defense like that, we talked about during the week. They're a good third down football team, so you want to stay in third and manageable. And early on, we didn't do that, and uh, you know, self inflict the negatives, and that, that'll get you beat you know, nine times out of ten. Are receivers running good routes or they finishing routes or, you know, and, and, and how much is that affecting you when, when you're back there going through your progression and scanning? I think they're running great routes. I think guys have, I mean, stepping up and making big time plays. I mean, the two big routes of Josh Cotton traffic were guys on his hip and he made great plays and, and ran out to the catch. Um, and Greg's the one that was ruled not a catch and he would have made a great play on the sideline. He gave us a chance. To extend that drive. Um, you know, they're running good routes. They're playing hard. Those guys are fighting their tails off. Um, you know, can't be can't be uh, anything short of clean. Hey, Brandon. Coaches talked about returning in the second half and, and getting back up to speed from the first half. We left it when we went to the last one. Has that been difficult for you guys in the second half? You know, I, I can't put a finger on them. I think uh, there's several ways to go about it. Uh, I think it's, it's been it looks difficult because we haven't played well in the second half of the time. And I think that's that's the perception. Um, you know, I, I felt like the energy was really good in the, in the locker room. Um, you know, at that time, I just think you know, we came out and we didn't execute. And this game, offensively, is all about execution. And um, you know, again, you know, I know those self-inflicted negatives and, and setting ourselves back. But Brandon, the energy was there. Sorry, Brandon. What are you doing this week to work on that to limit those mistakes and to improve that coming out in the second half? You know, I think, I think Chad's got a couple of things up to sleeves as far as just the way he can set up practice. You know, just maybe whether to take a break you know, halfway through and just say, hey, listen, we're at halftime. You know, it's, it's coming out in the second half. Or, um, you know, he, he's good at that. He's good at, at putting us in game situations where we try to simulate as close as possible. Um, you know, but it's all a mindset. It's all a mindset. we got to, you know, come in and make adjustments. What are the adjustments that need to be made? Go out and make those and, and execute them. And, uh, you know, Detroit, you know, and unfortunately for us, did that better than we did. We didn't execute. You know what? Uh, what the coaches have dialed up for us, and we had a great plan. I said it all week. I thought we had an outstanding plan. Um, just as players, we just didn't get it done. Huh? So, are there times you feel more comfortable playing on the road? You know, I, I personally love playing in front of our fans. I, I love you know running the tunnel here, and, you know, mm-hmm. hearing people go nuts when we do something good. Um, you know, but you know, going on the road, you know, it's kind of the you against the world feel. You know, it's you against those other you know sixty some odd thousand people. Um, but, you know, I think most players would, would agree that playing at home is, is more satisfying when you, you go out and you play well and you win. Have you really had to try this week to, to block out all the, the negative stuff that would be coming at you just about that? Yeah, oh, I mean, it's no different than either. You know, there's going to be negativity. It's, you know, it's part of playing this position. It's part of uh, this. Uh, you know, it's – I got I got very good earmuffs on it. And I uh, huh. went out and bet about the best ones I could. And, you know, uh, yeah, you can't listen to it. You can't listen to it. It's, uh, you know, uh, all I care about is, is what, what goes on inside this building. You know, the guys in this building, you know, have my back and, and I have theirs and we're all on the same page. It really doesn't matter what uh, what else is being said. I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're a football team here and, and uh, you know, I like, uh, you know, I love, I love coming to work with these guys every single day. Hey, Chuck, I'm sorry. Chuck said that it's apparent to him that you've got the support of the guys right here. Do you feel that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, guys have made comment or, um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it, t- it takes 11 guys. And it takes 11 guys to four quarters. And I think, you know, if you look back and we could all do something different. You know, I mean, obviously mine's glaring because it was at the end of the game. And it was, but, you know, I think, you know, we look back and we, we all wish we could do something different. I wish I could have made a throw here or, or got us into another play here. I mean, it just, it just depends on, yeah, but I think everybody in the stock room has each other's back and that's no different. Can I ask you another second half question? Do you, do you find teams are defending you differently, uh, you guys differently? Because in the three games you've lost, there's one field goal. That's it for the whole second half. Again, I mean, you know, I think they're sticking with their game plan. I mean, it's hard to say. You can't go in there and just change your game plan. But I think, uh, you know, they're, they're just coming out and they're, they're playing 
better for the most part. You know, we're not executing, and that's what that's what it all comes down to. We're just going out and executing over what North calls, and, and uh, you know whether that's you know just a, a basic you know inside run or if that's you know throwing the ball down the field. So we got to execute. All eleven guys got to be on the same page. That's why this game so so hard, so fun and so difficult at the same time. It takes eleven guys to, to make this play go. Brandon, if you had to pick, point in time where you might ever look back at this play and maybe it's behind me. It's behind me. I mean, obviously. You know, uh, I didn't lose any sleep over. You know, I, it wasn't. You know, but uh, it stung at the time. And, and it'll probably always sting if I do go. If I watch that game again, it, it, it'll bring back memories. But um, you know, I was, I was. Um, you know, it, it all happened so fast. Like I said on, on Sunday night. You know, it's just uh, got to move on from it. Got to be positive. Got to be consistent. It can't happen. Just don't let it happen again. That's why I. That's why I feel about it. Have you Brandon, said about the earmuffs? Is it frustrating at all that people seem to want to make evaluations after three starts? Only 18 starts for your career. You know he can't get it done, or whatever those. Yeah, I, mean, guys you know, I don't know many other guys that are having to go through that situation. You know, but you know that's uh, again, you play the quarterback position uh, at any level. That's what you. Those are the questions you got to answer. And so, um, winning's a cure all. Uh, you can win games, and that cures everything. And um, you know, I need to do my part. I need to be more consistent. I need to, uh, to help this team win ways, whatever way, whatever way possible. Have you Brand, heard from other uh, quarterback friends or other that have said, hey, I, I, I feel free, man, I've done, I've done that. Absolutely. Yeah, several guys have said, hey, man, I've, I've done that or I've made work. You know, I mean, if you play this position long enough, you're going to make mistakes and, you know, it's how you bounce back and, uh, you know, learn from them and, and those things. I've had, yeah, several several buddies, you know, from around the league and um, so just put a bind and said, if this position's hard enough, you can't dwell on the pass and move on it. Anybody you can tell us the names of that you're from? No. Can, can you train your premium among them? I'm sorry? Is Gero your premium among you guys? I don't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know Rogers much? And what's it, is it an opposing challenge going up against a guy who, I don't know where you rank him, but he's going to be a top. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of him. I mean, he, uh, to me, is one of the top you know, two or three quarterbacks in the league. He's, he's fun to watch. I mean, you put him on the film, he's, you know, he's just, when he throws the football, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of different. Just, he just can spin it. Uh, just a, an outstanding player. He, he uh, yeah, I think, proposed a challenge. He's going to give his offense a chance to, to score points. I think he's going to give his guys, um, you know, his offense, and you know, they run the ball well. So that's taking some pressure off of him. He's, he's, uh, talk, talk about he's, he's a good player. Do you have to make a concerted effort to, to block things out and move on psychologically, or is it something that just happens? Kind of, you I've kind been, of force yourself to do it just naturally. Oh, I mean. E- the easy ones are obviously social media, which is you know turned into a joke, and then uh, just don't you know watch uh, watch movies with a wife or you know just, whatever. Just don't don't listen to it. I mean, I, I've been through uh, I've been through ups and downs enough, you know, and you know I like to say that I'm you know a little a little bit I'm, I'm mature enough to not listen to what you know a seven year old kid has to tell me how to play quarterback or whatever it may be. That's just uh, you know I'm, uh, I'm you know like I said I'm. I'm not concerned with it. I'm, I'm concerned with uh, helping this team win games. That's the thing. Why do you say social media is a joke if you or your wife heard some No, I mean, stuff no, that's why I believe it. That's why it's gone and I don't have it anymore. I mean, it's just, it gets rid of, she got rid of it. Uh, you know, get rid of the temptation. You know, if it's on your phone and there's a temptation by listening to it, it's useless. Hey, Brian, can I ask a question? Go on, Mary Kay. Uh, well, Monday I felt 40. <laughs> I was a little sore, but no, I feel good. I feel, I feel, uh, I feel 20. You know, my body feels great, and uh, you know, three in front of the zero is just a little bit different. I'm not going to be used to that. For a while. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it, Brandon.